I'll bring the politicians in in a minute, but uh, we've got a video question that's on this subject. You're watching Q&A. Remember, you can send your web or video questions, or web or video questions, to our website. Uh, the address is on the screen if you want to work out how to do that. Our next question is a video. It's from uh, Terence Hewton in Henley Beach, South Australia. Former ABC Current Affairs reporter Maxine McHugh found herself on the altar in a Gillard Labor government because she refused to fall into line with the PR <coughs> dictates of the party machine. Under a reformed Rudd government, do you think there will now be a place for genuine politicians who reject spin and who simply want to tell it like it is without deceit and manipulation? Or is this a hopelessly idealistic expectation belonging to a bygone era in politics and utterly out of step with the Orwellian realities of electioneering in the new millennium. How do you present? Well, I think that was a, a, a terrific question. <laughs> I enjoyed it very much. You might want to have a crack at answering it. Um, well, I don't know what the question really is. The, if, is the que <laughs> no, if the question is, can we be ourselves, I think the answer is yes. I've been in Parliament for 15 years and I think um, my colleagues and my constituents and the people I deal with have a pretty clear idea of who I am and what I stand for. And sometimes that fits in with, you know, what the, what's happening with the rest of the party and sometimes it's in conflict and you have to work when you're an individual who's part of a team, have to work out how you, how you make good decisions collectively that um, cover the cross-section of views and values that we have in any collection of people. But is this where Julie Gillard came a cropper? I mean, we all remember um, the sort of spin-driven rhetoric and then it's, I'm going to be the real Julia from now on. I mean, uh, <laughs> that's... Uh, people... so... when, when things are going smoothly, people say, oh, everything's too media-managed. And then there's a few hiccups and they go, it's chaos, it's chaos, you know, run for the hills. The, the, and so you the did. Part of. <laughs> there's, a, there's another part point. Of, that, sorry. I, I was just going to say, Neil, that our our job as parliamentarians uh, is to say, this is how we're running the country. This is what we're doing right now. These are our successes. These are our plans for the future. And um, and part of that is telling the truth well. Uh, it's um, having a plan, being able to describe it but explaining to people why you think your vision is the one that takes the country forward. Is that spin? I, I think that that's just good communication. Sophie Mirabella. I, I don't hold out much hope with uh, Kevin's resurrection because it was Stephen Smith who actually said in criticising Kevin, you can't run a country by looking at the front page of the newspaper. You can't deal with national security and economic security when you do that. And that was part of the problem and the frustration that the Cabinet had first time round. And I think that's going to continue because that's um, how Kevin has operated. That's how he continues to operate. He hasn't given, you know, in-depth interviews or detailed policy well, yet. And part of the from well, the party of the well, this three is this is your slogan, Colin, This is but this is what Tony this is, is what Stephen Smith. Three words hold on, this is what Stephen Smith himself has said. This is what your colleagues have said about. <laughs> the man that took three leadership ballots to finally uh, get the job back. This is the man who stalked Julia for three years, um, undermined, undermined her at the last election, continued to undermine, using all sorts of spin and popping up in the media here, zipping off there. I mean, that's that's how he got the job. So I can presume I just ask one, can I just, can I just put one thing? Can I just put one thing uh, to yeah. you? And that is, uh, was well, I think you were about to say, he fact, rolled um, Malcolm Turnbull. I mean, it's not the on, only one. There's a difference and, and between. Was, was, was Malcolm, so. was Malcolm, I was there. I, I was Malcolm there. Turnbull no, no, no. stalked no, uh, no, by no, people who didn't want him to There is a difference. There is a difference between. Um, leadership challenges and Kevin. What <laughs> Kevin has done, I mean, what Kevin has done has been quite extraordinary. Sophie, and and, and a there's question. a very, very big, very, very big difference. But Sophie, question. I mean, we come back to um, when I um, interrupted you last time. Apologies. But, you know, we've heard all of this about Kevin Rudd. We've had uh, demonisation of him by all sorts of people. 
we've had, to your point, Tony Abbott having a clear run for all of this period. I don't think there's anyone in this audience or anyone in the country who hasn't been keeping up with the soap opera. Mm. Why is he so popular? Why is he the most popular leader in the country? But, but Sue, I can understand, um, you know, friends of his, such as yourself, believing that, but I actually travelled across the... This is like political America. tennis. I'm getting hit. <laughs> <laughs> but I, 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 I know... No, no, for, I, the polls well, don't you've lie. You've asked me a question. I know okay. the polls don't lie and you're not answering it. You're putting more... You're putting well, if you believe it. he's so popular, as his friend, convince him to hold an election as soon as possible. I think, okay, bring all right, it right, on. Okay, that is a point no, made before. Tony, Tony, let me answer that. Very, very, very very let very me far. answer it. No, Neil, let me answer it. That's a ridiculous position to take. So what, to have an election? No, 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 wait for a moment. I mean, it's mm -hmm. a... I spent... I actually don't back away from one moment that the Rudd family are very old friends of mine, but I actually grew up in student politics and youth politics and probably a huge period of misspent youth. And I actually have friends right across the political spectrum, including a lot of your colleagues. I actually am in a luxurious position of not being owned by a party or being, you know, of a party that I can actually back and believe in people who I think have got policies. And there are plenty of people right across the Greens, everywhere else, who I think are doing a great job. That's great. Okay. Kevin Rudd is, is very popular. I mean, those polls, and he has been consistently, and it, and it puzzles a lot of people. And, and I worked with him for a whole election campaign. It puzzled me for a while. But, you know, he, obviously he's very bright, he's a very good campaigner and has a singular self-belief. He just but can't that run doesn't, government. that doesn't mark him out from <laughs> other politicians like Malcolm Turnbull. But the mistake you continue to make, and I think a lot of people inside the Labor Party are underestimating him, um, and the mistake the Liberal Party's now making with the ads they're running, trying to, to be very negative again and poison that well, is it hasn't worked. It is not the view of the Australian people. My theory on it, for what it's worth, is that Rudd's an outsider. In that challenge that happened last week, it was interesting, you know, Julia came with a, a phalanx of people, and that's uncommon. You saw Rudd walking on his own, lone wolf style. He was an outsider in his childhood, through his career, and he has been inside the party. And a lot of people in this country out identify with that. And the more you try and belt him down, the more they're identifying with it. He's like the outsider's insider. Yeah, but and it's I think not that's our one words. of the keys to it. We're not no, demonising but, but what it, you it's... think doesn't matter. What the Australian people does think, he's opened up a sizable lead over your well... leader and it's going to have a big effect on this campaign. OK, I'm going to just interrupt again to go to our next...